Yo, what is going on today, YouTube? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today's video, we're going to be talking about mannequins and ADC. It is not a normal ADC build. It's not a normal ADC item, but mannequins has found its way into the duo lane build. I'm going to show you guys the build that is being used and also kind of the strengths of it. Show you game, why it's good, what you need to do if you build mannequins and like, does it fall off, issues with it, anything like that. Let's just jump right in. So the reason you go the mannequins build in duo is you want to be able to play that early game and get a lot of pressure. The one thing mannequins does very well that base uh, ADC hunter starter items don't really do is it clears jungle camps very well. Mannequins does that stacking burn damage. It's not very good in PvP, but in PvE, it just shreds. So what does that mean? That means you get to lane very, very fast. So what does it mean for dual lane? For dual lane, especially on gods like Ishtar, you can actually just insta-clear your purple and your green buff and get to lane just a lot faster. And on the way to lane, you can look for something funky like this, where instead of actually walking right to lane, since I have this extra damage early game, this extra clear, we actually walk in and we get the steal. And from this point, lane's just over. We have, we have dominated lane and there's really nothing they can do. The onus is on us. We have to throw because we are now level two, they are level one, and we got the purple buff. GG's. When you get to these late game fights, you don't have crit for fire, but Mannequin's Mace replaces crit very, very well. The damage that I can do to it is insane. So just see how much damage I can do to it. This is me soloing it with no available life soul on fire because it is bugged currently. Ducky and I are able to pull it. And this is me tanking obviously a little bit, but you can see how much damage the mannequin's mace is doing, how much me and Ducky are able to do to this. And we just kill it. And there's really no threat very whatsoever. I don't know why I even bombed there. It was basically free. But the damage on it is very, very strong. When you get to the full late game build, the first mace build that I ever saw was this build, but Dom instead of the Titan's Bane. Do not build Dom in this build. It is not good. Build Titan's Bane. Titan's Bane affects the Mannequin's Mace. It expects, uh, affects the Odebo. It affects the Kin Size. Dom, Pen, affects none of it. None of those yellow numbers. The XE does, but the XE requires you to actually auto that person four times to get the true effect of that Mannequin's Mace and of that Odebo. Odebo bounces around a lot, so you're not actually getting the value a lot of the times from that shred with XE because it's bouncing from person to person. Yes, you'll get it on that one person you're, auto you're autoing, but not the people around you. And when you get to this late game, your damage is actually very good. My in-hand damage is 328. I do have a 500 pot, which plays into an effect. But on top of that, I have a bunch of yellow numbers that are going to be increasing my damage even more than that. The downside to this build is your lifesteal is not great. So I get to this late game fight. I'm not really taking that much damage. I'm healing a little bit off of him, 56, 56, which is not bad. It's actually like a good amount of damage, healing 81, 81. But this is a 3k 539 power. I'm not going to be life stealing this much normally. In most games, crit is the best way to life steal because you're technically getting double the value of that life steal. You life steal, we'll say 20% just for easy numbers, and you hit for 300, you're life stealing for 60. If you crit for 600, you're going to be life stealing for 120 because you're doubling that life steal. So this, the, you don't get the life steal on those yellow numbers. It's not as valuable with the life steal, but. The damage is insane, and I've been really liking this build. I actually made it to... When I was doing my ADC run-through on Kirktoberfest, a lot of these builds I was actually building Mannequin's Mace on. I was using two builds. The Mannequin's Mace build if I wanted a lot of pressure, or that Claw Cowl build that gives you an incredible late game and very, very hard to dive and to deal with. And those two builds basically gave me a lot of wins. The upside of Mannequin's Mace is you need to be able to play through and go for invades and stuff like that. The Ishtar game, we're playing to push, and then we're coming to these camps. Look at how fast I shred this camp. I'm not doing anything extra other than just getting my mannequins on it, but it makes it so they can't really come up and contest. I also heal a tiny bit from it because of that mannequin's mace. And this is the pressure that you're kind of playing around. You're trying to push them under tower, get all these camps, because that's kind of what you need to do. And, and around this moment, we get ganked. And instead of, you know, running away, me and my Geb fight into this because we have such a big lead. Damage is crazy. The 2v3 potential is crazy. And with this pressure, we're actually able to invade the purple buff again. Good peel by the Geb. He's able to get out. I'm able to get out. We're able to get their purple buff. We're able to get our purple buff. And we have a massive, massive lead over here. But again, this is what you have to do with the mace. It is not something that you can scale into the late game and just kind of win games. Your DPS in the late game isn't that great. It's really good in team fights where your damage can kind of spread through. The Odebo can jump around. Because the one thing Odebo does better than anything else in the game is it allows you to have AoE autos and AoE damage on tanks. I mean, on 
hunters. Hunters are usually single target gods, but with Odibo, it bounces around. It's able to do a lot through the team fights, and that's kind of why I like it. Genuinely, it gives you a lot of single target DPS and a lot of team fight DPS. So that's why I've been liking it. But that's the Mannequin's Mace build. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, drop them down below. I've been really liking playing. I've been playing a lot of ADC, playing a lot of jungle recently. So if you have questions about those, I can answer. I think jungle actually is in a kind of not super OP spot. I think ADC feels incredible. I've been dominating games with ADC. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys again next time. Peace.